students welcome to standard 5 myself mrs kashish mehtani i am taking your mathematics this is your max textbook and today we are starting with chapter number 1 roman numerals that is on page number 1 okay usually we use numbers 1 2 3 4 5 like this and so on these numbers are called international numerals okay but long ago in europe roman capital alphabets were used to write numbers now which were the alphabets there were i v and x okay these three alphabets were used to write numerals okay understood in this chapter we are having two special notes first in this method there is no symbol for zero means we are not using any symbol for zero second value of symbol did not change with its space now suppose we are using i symbol two times or we are writing left side or right side its value will be same one okay now further in this chapter we have to learn some rules rule number one is if either of the symbols i or x is written consecutively means continuously two or three times their sum total is the number they make means Or either of these symbols, we are adding these symbol. Uh, we are writing continuously two two times, so we have to add up their values. Okay, let's see with the example. Suppose I am writing i two times, so I have to add up the value of i, means that is one two times, and the sum total means total that I get will be the number. Okay, that means two is written like this in Roman numerals. Understood? Example two. Suppose I am writing x for two times. So the value of x is ten. So I have to add ten two times. Gives me gives me the value twenty. Okay. That means twenty will be written like this in Roman numerals. Understood? Now rule number two. The symbols i or x. can be repeated consecutively continuously for a maximum of 3 times means only 3 times we can repeat these symbols i or x let's see with the example one time i equals to 1 suppose i am using two times i that is 2 and three times i equals to 3 but can i use four times i for four no this is wrong four is written in another way that i will tell you later but here the rule is maximum for three times we can use these values we you can use these symbols of i and x now in rule number 2 there is one special point that is the numeral b five is never repeated consecutively means we cannot repeat numeral 5 consecutively for two or three times it is written only once let's see with the example suppose we are writing v two times the value of v is 5 so we have to add up the value of 5 two times that gives us total 10 but already we are having the value of 10 in roman numerals so we cannot repeat v for two times or three times. It is wrong. Written only once. Understand? Rule number three. When either I or V is written on right side of the symbol of bigger number, its value is added to the value of bigger number. Now, from these three symbols I, V, and X, if value of symbol I or V is written on the right side of the bigger number, means If v, v is the bigger number than i, so if i is written on the right side of the v, its value is to be added. Means 
value of b is 5, value of i is 1. We have to add up the value if written on the right side. Total gives us 6. Means 6 is written like this in Roman numerals. Okay. Second example, x then b. Value of x is bigger. V is written on the right side of x. So we have to add up these values. Value of x is 10 plus value of b is 5. 10 plus the 5 gives us 15. So 15 is written like this in Roman numerals. Understood? Rule number 4. When R is written on the left side of V or X, then its value is subtracted from the value of V or X. Means, if I we write on the left side of these two values, so we have to subtract I means 1 from value of these two numbers. Okay, but however the symbol I is not written more than once before. When we are writing on left side, only once symbol of I is written. Okay. Let's see with the example. I, V. Value of I is 1. Value of V is 5. 5 is the bigger number. So first we will write 5. Then we have to subtract 1 because it is written on the left side. 5 minus 1 gives us 4. So in this way 4 is written in no Roman numerals. Understood? Now I and X. Here I is written on the left side means x is the bigger number. First we will write the value of x. Then we have to subtract because on left side 1 gives us 9. 10 minus 1 gives us 9. Means 9 is written like this in Roman numerals. Understood? Let's start with writing Roman numerals according to the rules. Now we are starting with 1. As you learn, 1 is written in I form, 2, 2 times I, 3, 3 times I, but 4 we have to write like this. You have learned, this is the value of 5, minus 1 gives us 4. 5 is written like this, 6, 5 plus 1, 6, 7, this is value of 5, 2 times i gives us 7, 8, value of 5, then 3 times i gives us 8, 9, 10 minus 1 makes 9. This is the value of 10 and on left side that is i means 10 may say minus carry a 1 gives us 9. Last value of 10 as you all know that only x we have to write. Now for the 11. 11 means 10 plus 1. So 10 and 1. Understood? 12, 10 plus 2, 13, 10 and 10 and 3, 14, say 10 and as we have written 4. So 14, 15, 10 and 5, 16, 10 and 6, 17, 10 and 7, 18, as we have written 10 and 8, 19, 10 and value of 9, last 20 means 2 times x. Understood? Hello students, today we are going to start with problem set 1 of chapter number 1, Roman numerals. In last lecture, I have explained you Roman numerals. How to write Roman numerals. Today, problem set 1, question number 1. First, write all the numbers from 1 to 20 using no Roman numerals. In last lecture, I had explained you how to write 1 to 20 in Roman numerals. So, this question you have to do by yourself. Now, question number 2. Write the following numbers using international numbers. These are some Roman numbers given. We have to write in international numerals. Right? Just like we usually write 1, 2, 3, they call international numerals. Yesterday I have explained you. So in that way we have to write these numbers. Now, this is the symbol of V. So, V indicates 5. Second, 
V, then 2 times I. V indicates 5, 2 times I on the right side means 5 plus 2, 7. This is 7. X is the symbol for 10. Yesterday I have explained it. Fourth is X, then 3 times I. X is the symbol of 10. Right may 3 times I means we have to add up 10 plus 3, 30. Okay? Now, fifth one, X, then I, then V. I is on the left side of the V, means 5 minus 1, 4. This is the symbol of 4, 10 plus 4, 40. Okay? Then, sixth number, X, V, I. I is on the right side, means this is 5 plus 1, 6. 10 plus 6 gives us 16. Now, these two numbers you have to do by yourself. This is your homework. Okay. Now moving further to question number 3. Fill in the empty boxes. First numbers then Roman numerals. Numbers are given in spellings means word form. Okay. Here we have to write the Roman numerals. And where Roman numeral is given we have to write the spelling of that number in words. Okay. Now first is 3. How we write 3 in Roman numerals? 3 times I. Okay. Second one is V and then 3 times I is given. V means 5. 3 times I means 3. 5 plus 3, 8. So what should I write here? 8. E, I, G, H. Okay. Then third one is 6. How we write 6? 5 plus 3. 1. This is the 6. Now x and 2 times i. 10 and 2 gives us 12. Again in this question also these two you have to do by yours. Okay. Now question number 4. Write the numbers using Roman numerals. Now numbers are given in international numerals. We have to write in Roman numerals. First is 9. How we write 9? 9 we write as 10 minus 1. Left side means we are subtracting the value from bigger value. 10 minus 1 gives us 9. Second is 2. It is very simple. We are using 2 times i. Okay. Third is 17. 17 means 10 plus 7. First we write 10, then 5, then 2 times i. 10 plus 5, 15 plus 2, 17. Fourth is 4. 4, we write 5 minus 1. On left side, subtracting the value means this is the value of 4. 11. 11, 10 plus 1. This one you do by yourself. Okay. Moving further on question number 5. In the table below, each given number is written in international numeral. First numbers are given in international numerals. And then again in Roman numerals. Then again in Roman numerals. If it is written correctly in Roman numerals. International numbers the value agar Roman numerals be correct way mein diya hua hai. Put right in the under box. Uske nichi box mein right click karna hai. And if it is wrong. Put wrong and correct it. Mala agar value wrong hai Roman numerals ka. To put wrong and write it in the correct way in numeral form. Okay. Let's see first one. 4. We have, they have given 4 times R. It is right? No. We have to, we have to put cross. Okay. Then we have to write the right value. V minus. Then I. Then V. Means 5 minus 1. Is the right value of, right symbol for 4. Next second is 6. 5, then 1. Means V and I. Is it right? 5, right side 1 hai. I hai means we have to add up 5 plus 1, 6. So this value is right. We will put, put correct mark and here we will put H. Third is 8. Here they have given 2 times I then X. Means they have, what they have done? Subtracted 2 from 10. Is it the right way? No. This is wrong. We cannot write 2 times i on the left side. So, right way is 5, then 3 times i. 5 plus 3, 8. 
Okay. Fourth one is 16. 16 means 10, 5 and then 1. This is the right. Okay. We will put right. And here we will put dash. Last one is 15. They have given 5 times B. As I have told you, we cannot repeat value of uh, symbol of V consecutively 2 or 3 times. So, this is the wrong way. We will write 15 as X and 5. X and V means 15. 10 plus 5. Understood? Here, we have completed our chapter number 1. Now, you have to write the notes as you have, we will get the PDF file. Okay? Thank you.